The final continuous probability distribution we're going to talk about is the exponential distribution. This one is similar to our Poisson distribution from the discrete distributions that we've already talked about. So the Poisson distribution was asking what is the average number of arrivals per time? So how many trains are going to come in the next hour? Given a specific number of that happening within a unit. So Poisson said, what is the number of occurrences to expect per interval? So how many trains come in an hour? Whereas the exponential distribution is looking at the probability of the time between trains. So you run up to the station just as the train leaves. What is the probability that the next train is going to come in a minute, in two minutes, in three minutes, in four minutes, in five minutes, in 20 minutes? And how long are you going to have to wait? What's the probability of waiting more than five minutes or less than 15 or 12 to 22 minutes? That's the thing. That's the kind of question that exponential distributions will answer. So our parameters, this is lambda, which in this case, lambda represents the mean arrival rate per unit of time or space. We'll come back to that. The Probability distribution function you can see is exponential. Our range is simply above or equal to zero. The lambda that Excel is asking for is the mean time. So it wants the average arrival time per unit of time. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to think about. Just FYI, some books use um, mu, some books use lambda, but they're essentially talking about lambda represents the mean of what's expected. In Excel, this is your equation, and this equation is assuming that you were interested in up to whatever x you are considering. If we want the other side, we have to do 1 minus the expon.dist, which is exactly the same as the normal distribution in Excel. So if we want to see what is the probability of waiting less than 10 minutes for the next train, given that five trains come per hour. First thing we have to consider in Poisson and in Exponential is the units of time have to match. We can't be talking about minutes in one thing and hours in the other. So our average train is five per hour. So the easiest way to do this is to translate minutes into hours. So we would say 1 6 would be 10 minutes per hour. Again, we have our distribution. This is how we will put it into Excel. And if we are curious about more than 10 minutes, it's going to be 1 minus the expon.dist in Excel equals the expon.dist. And it is asking me for x, which in this case is 10 minutes per hour. So you can say 1 6, you can divide that out, you can make that a decimal, I'm just going to type it in like that. It is asking me for lambda, which is the average that it takes, so 5 per hour, and this is cumulative. If I want to know above 10 minutes, it is going to be equals 1 minus expand.dist. Again, you can do this any way that you want. 1 for true, and that is the probability of it taking above 10 minutes. 